sound like a broken record around here. I'll take a look at that. We're just in this pattern that we can't seem to shake. That's a live image from Plattsburgh tonight. 37 degrees, still that fog, wow. There's just no wind to, to mix everything up. Yeah. It's been so calm, you can almost hear like a pin drop when you walk outside in the woods. It's kind of foggy, it's quiet. Mm -hmm. It feels good out there. The mild temperatures, you're saving the heating bill a little bit. So That's true. There's some positives to this. But yeah, man, it has been wet this month in particular in the Champlain Valley. This is the Burlington area. We looked at the top five wettest Decembers on record since 1884. 2023 sitting at number two so far with 5.39 inches of rain at the Burlington Airport. For Plattsburgh, we're sitting at the top five, uh, the number five wettest on record, I should say, with four and a quarter inches of rain. Keep in mind, average December precipitation is only around 1.7 inches in the Plattsburgh area, so this is more than double what you'd expect for this time of year. Still have to deal with those showers, especially down the Route 7 corridor from far southern Vermont, Bennington into Shaftesbury and Manchester. Bit of a wet ride. Same thing as you go up toward Middlebury and Brandon and also along I-87 here across the lake in New York, North Hudson, up through Mariah and into Plattsburgh, seeing a little bit of light shower activity, some drizzle with that. It's a big sprawling system. It's moving so slowly. You could see the past two hours, not much movement in this system overall. But but let's flip on a different filter to the radar. You can see the water vapor map. It just gives us an idea of where their circulations are in the atmosphere. And you can see this one coming right down from Hudson Bay. Notice how it's diving right toward the northeast. This is going to be what finally pushes all of this gloom and doom out of the way and finally into the Atlantic Ocean. Takes a couple of days to get here. You'll see that on Futurecast as we head through tonight. Some showers redeveloping as we head into tomorrow morning. So I think there's still some light showers out there tonight, but they'll become steadier during the day tomorrow. And then you finally start to see those changes coming down from the north. A little bit of snow developing toward the St. Lawrence Valley as early as tomorrow afternoon. So things could get a little dicey along Route 11 just after sunset tomorrow. And then as we head into Saturday morning, just some lingering snow showers for Vermont, especially in the higher terrain. I think that we'll finally start to see a drying trend as we head into Saturday afternoon and especially during the day on Sunday. So when we talk about snowfall amounts, nothing super impressive, but just enough to coat things up, give everything a little bit of a white blanket there. Two to four inches from Malone out through Ellenburg and Lion Mountain. I could see Saranac Lake and Lake Placid getting around two inches of the white stuff as well, but a little bit less as you head toward Lake Champlain, dusting to two inches potential for just about everybody, but the meaningful accumulations will be found above 1,000 feet. Same thing goes for Southern Vermont. Not much in the upper valley, but dusting to two inches for the Route 7 corridor and about two to four inches for the ski resorts like Okemo and uh, Kill uh, Killington and also uh, Mount Snow, I should say. So good news for those ski resorts who could really use a little natural snow and the long weekend forecast looking nice, especially after we clear those snow showers out on Saturday. It certainly turns colder by New Year's Eve, but right around average for where we should be this time of year. It's dry both days, chance of a couple of flurries on New Year's Day, but otherwise we are not going to be seeing the same weather that we've been the past couple of days. You could see impact icon for tomorrow and Saturday, and then we dry things out for New Year's Eve and day. Most of next week also looking nice and dry. There's no big storms, no big Arctic blasts or anything like that on the way. In fact, by the middle of next week, we warm back up into the upper 30s, close to 40 degrees.